Good morning, folks. Coronal fields are now closed again, but not before we took another big rumble. A 6.7 struck Barbados this morning while most of us slept. It was not very deep, and damage reports will be coming in all morning. We're lucky it wasn't bigger, as a subduction zone can lead to tsunamis. There was not one produced today. Making the rounds, we see a uranium oxide spill in Africa. Second such spill for Paladin in the last few months. Brown University, NASA, and the USGS have completed the first map of Ganymede, Jupiter's biggest moon. Twice the mass of our moon, 50% water with a liquid ocean beneath ice sheets. That description actually fits dozens of moons in our solar system. Real quick, this shouldn't be new to you. They say that if we start spraying the skies, we would have to continue or face even worse consequences. I know opinions on this topic have a broad range, but the specific topic today is the science behind how playing God might be a really bad idea. <laughs> you think? Updating last night's news, 19 is now the death toll after three feet of snow hit Japan in only one day last Friday. Some died in traffic wrecks, some in the cold, but a fair number who were prepped and cozy in their homes fell as well as their roofs collapsed under the weight. What are you supposed to do? Looking at Madagascar, we see another tropical system stuck between the island and Africa. Strong convergence to this cell, locals should remain aware of the conditions there. Lighter day in general worldwide, some rain lingering in New Zealand while the larger portion is in the north and eastern Australia as moisture from both north and south collide atop the island state there. In the eastern Pacific, the pressure is complementary once more and the top precipitation will come in the northwestern states and into Canada today. A huge portion of the rest of the states is warmer today as we mentioned yesterday that these systems were indeed shifting to allow that southern heat to come make some better temperatures. How long has it been since there was not a monster waiting to crest here? All we got is a Mediterranean system that actually shifted north from Africa. May have some thunderstorms by the coast, but this shouldn't be too bad for you folks. I hope you can see the constant moisture drive onto Brazil here and the highly variable southern systems which make forecasting this area so very difficult. Solar wind is calm, only minor variation to speed and density, not enough to give us any instability as of now. Flaring has gone completely cold, but not the eruptions. Remember folks, plasma filaments have been the bigger eruptive threat nearly this entire solar maximum. This is actually just one of a couple pops this morning that has resulted in what appears to be a halo eruption. We'll be looking for a weak shock to impact Thursday or Friday here. We're also watching the polar radiation. Even without a strong magnetic connection to the flaring at the limb, those eruptions have begun to perturb our calm. Departing spots are decaying while the incomers have significant delta potential if they make just a little bit of umbral development. Last but not least, I had a little fun Stephen Goddard style yesterday on a topic inspired by the same and James Corbett. I recommend taking a peek. Current conditions? Dark coronal holes. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.50 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.